this is the next part of mask roll um, I've got my Rice Krispie treats and I've covered it in buttercream and I've put some fondant, proper fondant on the ends um, and now I'm just going to cover this section in fondant I need to make sure it's long enough and wide enough to go around it and it needs to be a thin piece so I think it's about here and here and I'll just cut off that edge bit there Lay that on it. This bit you're not going to see anyway. Put a little bit of glue around here. And just roll it on. Don't matter too much about anything that's showing there because you can put that underneath anyhow. And I'll just slice off this edge bit. Those bits on. Clean off that because we don't want that on. Right, so that's your base where you've covered your Ice crispy treats. The next part of this process is using gum paste because you want it to set quite hard. So I'll just smooth that off. And I'm going to let that just harden up for a couple of hours before I start with the next section of it. So I'll see you in a moment. This is a little bow that I'm going to do for the scroll for the graduation cake that I'm doing. Um, I've got a cutter here that I've got from uh, Gems. Uh, it, they come in three sizes. You can do it by hand. Um, I just find this is a bit quicker for me. So I've got my black fondant. I'm just going to roll that out. Well, it's not fondant, it's gum paste is this that I'm using because you need it to be pretty sturdy. And I'm going to roll it out as thin as I can possibly get it. It needs to be very thin, does this, so you can work with it. Oops. That's about as thin as I'm going to get it, which as you can see it's pretty paper thin. I'm going to put my cutter down, give it a little wiggle, hopefully I've got it on. Um, 
oops gosh butter fingers today just go under that and make sure it's released Turn this over. I'm going to fold it, make a little crease or a line where it is, so it's down there. Put a bit of gum glue on. Turn these over. It's gone a bit far. Should be okay. I only want these tiny. Turn it over and I fold in and then down so you make like a little bow like that then you've got your bow part here which I'm going to do the same fold in and then over again put a little bit of glue on there glue there just so that I know it's going to stick. Very fiddly these small ones. So there's your bow and you've got the little tassels which are the same again, fold in and fold down, so it's like that, same with this one, fold in and fold down, same on the other side, so you've got that side and then that side, these want flattening, And there should be enough gum glue on the back of this to hold it. So there's your bow. If you want to puff it out a bit, then just get a little paintbrush or something just to squizzle it in. And puff it out a bit. I'm going to let that dry and set up a little bit before I start to try and move it. Maybe it needs a bit of glue on the back of there just to make sure. And if you want to add a bit of movement you can do it. scroll is all quite solid now so I can work with this so I'm going to get some gum paste and start with that right I've got my gum paste now and I've softened it up a little and I want to make sure that it is a little bit longer than the scroll itself because I'm wanting an overlap so that's about right like that. Put that over there a second. 
maybe a longer rolling pin. Pretty stiff, this stuff. Now there's no certain length for this but I do want it to wrap around so I'm going to make it quite long. If I do it the length of the mat then that should be okay. I can always cut off what I don't need anyway. Use this as a guide. Put that straight down there. That straight down there. <coughs> Turn this over because I don't want the mark off the uh, mat on it. And then I want a bit of water on that. So I'll put a little bit of water on. I only want it where the roll is. I don't want it on the edges. Sure, that's covered, and then all you do is roll this over it. Just like that, and then when you get to this point here. This sort of goes into like um, a point. Um, just get me into that place here. So I want this to sort of go on an angle, not too much of one, just sort of like a letter. like that and then when that rolls up onto that it goes like that and then you've got these open ends here and then for these bits here I'm going to show you now with what I've got here Get your gum paste again. Don't need these 
is very big. Still this kind of thin if you can. Lots of bits in this kitchen today. And I'll just give this a quick measure. Just measure inside here. It's about one there, and it's about one there. So to cut that straight up there, turn that away. it's for each side I'm only eyeballing this I'm not doing exact measurements because it should go in and then just cut the ends off so as you've got straight edges turn them over and then just roll it up So it looks like that, like a scroll. Then you want to put them inside there, so maybe a little bit bigger. So inside here, put a little bit of water. Folded up scroll inside. And just sort of unravel it a little bit. And then push it in. So it looks like that. Same again on the other side. So don't don't wet this because uh, it'll stick to itself, and you don't want that. So inside here again, wet it all. Put your scroll inside, and just unravel it slightly. So then you've got that. Oh, other side's come out now because I'm showing you. It will go back in there. Then just let that dry a little bit. So I'll keep it straight for now. And if you remember, I did the little bow. This is going on the scroll. So I want some black. Put my light away now. And this has got because I'm doing different colours to the cake that he showed me. He wants it blue and yellow. So on this one, I'm going to do it blue as well. So I'll put all that there for a second. Have a little bit of blue out. 
don't need much. And I want this to go right the way around the scroll. So I shall roll it out. And just measure it around the scroll, make sure it's going to fit. Yep. out of it get another roll this way so as I know that it's right and I've got the cutter here which is a bit wide Same as what I'm doing on the cake. Cut this out. Any loose bits at the side? Get your knife and go down it. this over because I want this sealed bit at the bottom about there Also. And there's your scroll there, and then just get the little thing royal icing on the back of that, and then just attach your bow where you want your bow, which I think I'll have about here. And there you have your scroll. Thanks for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up.